Mm-hmm. Hey, can I get a bite of that? You want some? Ah. Uh. Thanks. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. This is my friend Robert O'Burst. Hey, dude. Hi, bud. How you doing? Doing good. Good to see you. I'm glad to be here. I invited you out for this video in particular because. How many of these can we eat at a, yeah. in a certain amount of time? Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say no offense, but you look like a guy who likes food. <laughs> Most certainly, <laughs> especially these. These are my size too. So we have giant Rice Krispie treats, and we just have always wondered how much Rice Krispie like they're they're very airy kind of food, as you guys know. And but like if you have a bunch of them and they're giant, can they stop a bullet? But they're sticky too. They are super. You got sticky. the marshmallow. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. What do you think? I mean, let's say we start off with a twenty-two. You think it's going through these? No way. I think the 22 is going to be like right here. Maybe in 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's like 12-ish? Yeah. About right, I'm, that. Saying, I'm saying it stops in Basically, six. we're going to prove that we can make bulletproof vests out of Rice Krispie Treats. Pretty much what every video on Demos Ranch is, is trying to prove dumb things to make bulletproof vests out of. See? These are already plate carrier size. You know? Right. Punch Plus, you like hiking along in the middle of the apocalypse. You get a little. <laughs> you want me to put. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> Thought he would just be nice about it. But you're like hiking along in the middle of the apocalypse, right? You get a little hungry. You just. That's true. Take a bite of your bullet. Lots bus. of energy in there. Right. You could survive a long time on Rice Krispie treats. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's good for two reasons bullet stopping and energy. And your friends could punch you. Yeah, that actually, that did absorb your punch pretty well. I didn't want to do it hard, too. I was like, <laughs> one of us is going to get hurt. Wait, are you saying that wasn't full power? No, no, definitely not. I don't want to punch full power. I'll hurt my hand. <laughs> no, no. This is what the internet wants to see. <laughs> <laughs> that was the scariest thing I've ever seen. I was like, I'm dead. I'm dead for... Robert weighs 400 pounds, just so you know. I'm not really educated on how to do it well, too. Oh. Yeah, that was good. Did yeah. it rip it? Yeah, that yeah. worked. <laughs> That felt good. Felt like a horse just kicked me in the chest. Sounded good. <laughs> All right, let's shoot it. Will you grab the Mosinagant? Let's just start with the Mosinagant. That looks like a little tiny baby gun in your hands. It feels pretty small. It's crazy. It'll do the trick though. It actually is a baby gun. That's a that's a Mosinagant clone. It's a 22. So you thought it'd go through, what'd you say, 12? I'm thinking about 12. I should think, I do it here or should I get behind this? I think or? right here is great. I think it's going through six. <laughs> it's so tiny. It's definitely made for children to shoot. Perfect shot right in your punch hole. Uh-huh. Up, yep. Out. Out. What was that? Three. Four. Five. Six. Uh oh. Seven. Eight. Nine. Dang. Ten. Eleven. Holy what? cow. This video's over. Twelve. Twelve. Dude, you're right. Oh, right on. You said it would go through twelve. So it stopped in the thirteenth. Is it in there? I don't, know. Uh -huh. I don't see it on the table, so it should be there. You see, maybe the marshmallow is such a powerful deterrent that it like disintegrated the bullet it's on the way possible. through. Very possible. I think that's probably what happened. Just just evaporate. It's like a it's like one of those re-entry spaceships that they just kind of burn up in the atmosphere. Exactly, exactly. That's science, guys. All right. Can't argue with it. Guys, this is the part of the show where I realized we made a grave mistake and didn't buy enough. Because to think about it, if a 22 went through 12, and we only have like 22 or 3 here, a 9 probably is going to go through everything. But, we actually have a lot more. Like double this much. We have over 40 now. We're going to shoot a 9mm out of this Maxim, and we're shooting some hollow points. What's your prediction on this one, Obi? Oh, it's a hollow point, so it's throwing me off, you oh, know? That's tricky. That's, that's, the, that's the catcher. I'm saying stops. It goes through the 15th and then it stops. 15? Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to um I'm going to prices right you and I'm going to go 16. All right. <laughs> All right, 9 mm going straight down the middle. Woo! -wee. 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 mm -hmm. The bowl's getting a little bigger it's so maybe wider, that's huh? good. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Dang it, 16. Oh, there it is. Oh. So you got it. Right, dead that's, right again. That's the 17th. So it went right through okay. the 16th and stopped in the 17th. 
Oh, look, it didn't open up. Oh, wow. That's why it opened up a little. Maybe it's just too soft of yeah, a. Yeah, I think it was just too soft. So it started opening. So I wonder, a full metal jacket probably would go a lot further. Oh, yeah, all the way. All the way? You think? I don't know, but I do know if, if our third bullet we fire at this goes all the way, the video is a huge flop. And oh, the then it won't go all the way. Us. No, it won't. We'll just, let's, <laughs> let's try it. <laughs> okay, this is a subsonic round. But it's full metal jacket. It's actually not full metal jacket. It's a copper, all copper bullet. So it won't expand at all. It has a very pointy point. Let's see. Let's I think it's going. I'm about to like get down on a knee here. I think it goes 21. 21? Yep. Oh, this is cool. I'm like as tall as you now. <laughs> I'm going to get my hips down into it. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, it's gotta be there, there it is. So there is our, oh it's warm, feel that. That's our full metal jacket, not full, I keep trying to say full metal jacket. It is a solid copper bullet. Went wow. a little bit less than the hollow point because it's subsonic. Okay, oh. Video, videos might nice. be saved, okay. Next we're shooting a 50 AE, the same round that a Desert Eagle shoots, but we don't have a Desert Eagle. This is an Automag 5. Oh yeah. Chambered in 58. This is like hollow your size too, yeah. gun. Yeah, that's a hollow point. This is a gun that's made for you. Look at that. You even make that gun look small, which is kind of funny. That has like a seven inch barrel on it and it looks normal in your hands. It feels small here, especially. Yeah, his pinky's hanging off the bottom of a 50 AE. Look at that. <laughs> I have a feeling this could go through our entire stack. Even hollow point. Yeah, that's a big powerful round out of a long barrel. Yeah, okay. I, I think it could. All right. Time will tell. Let's see. Jeez, that thing's loud. All right, dude, look at that. One, two, three, four. We should just like go over here and see. Where are we at? Oh, oh it's still through. Dang it. Let's see. You go through? Nope, not the end. It didn't? Nope. Nope. See. Oh, they're falling. Nope, nope. Nope, oh my gosh, Man. what? Oh, here we go. There's two holes down there. Oh, and this one, it's in here. It's gotta be there, there it is. It well, just fell out. Up. They should make Bulletproof vest out of marshmallow. Someone needs to lick all that off of there. Yeah, yeah like bullet tooth, bullet tooth Tony from uh, <laughs> from uh, what is that? Is that Snatch? Snatch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good movie. Yeah, it doesn't taste good. So we stopped in thirty three. Ooh. We have bigger guns. We can. Nice. We can get through this. Next up, double lot buck, twelve gauge high brass. This is probably not going to go very far. Eh. But it should do a lot of damage. That's kind of. It'll see. look cool. It should look cool. I'm gonna shoot it from the hip. See if I can aim right. Oh, oh, nice! Perfect shot. All right. So how many do you think that one went through? They stayed together pretty well. well. I, think, I think the the good question is, do you think that went further than our first nine, the hollow point nine? No, I don't think so. Less. So less, less, less than twelve. Uh, yeah, the first hollow point nine was seventeen. Oh, seventeen. Yeah. Right. I think it went less than twelve though. I think it went less than our twenty-two. Find out. Yeah, see how they're splitting up so mm -hmm. much? All right, so we're at four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, I was wrong. Twelve. Oh, a little bit. Thirteen. Thirteen. Fourteen. Uh -huh. Yeah, they're slowing down. There's less coming through. There's only like three coming through there right now. You can see the difference between the first hole and that hole. Yeah. Fifteen. Sixteen. And that looks like single hole. I think that that's about where they were. About it, yeah. Out. I have a gun that actually will look really good with you shooting it. Okay. It's big. Just like you, it's powerful. Just like you, and uh, it, so, could, it could really hurt me. Pretty. It could really hurt me. Just like you. <laughs> we try this one. Oh, that one should work. <laughs> Five hundred Magnum. I'm never gonna touch that gun again. Don't know where that's been. I'll take it on the carry on with me. I'll fly home. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Five hundred Magnum. A very powerful round, and we have a 28-inch barreled gun here. This is no, a with the, the extra length of the barrel, does that make it shoot further? It speeds, it makes it faster. So, so yes, further. Oh, wow. So, yeah, this is Magnum Research, big effing revolver. It's called the BFR, I didn't make that up. I don't know, I think it stands for biggest, finest revolver. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. yeah. And uh, we're gonna shoot a 500 Magnum out of it. It's so it's ridiculous. Very front heavy. <laughs> like your sight radius is like two feet. Right, so here we go. Let's, let's get her in there. All right. You got this. Hold on tight. Oh, yeah. I'm going to slap my own face. <laughs> oh, that was 
a perfect shot. That felt good. It, honestly, it didn't have the kick I was expecting. Yeah. I yeah. think uh, <laughs> normally with like a, a big gun like that, I don't like shooting them because yeah. you can't like hit what you want. But with the length of the barrel, it seems like it's way easier. Well, and it, it, being a lot heavier gun, it doesn't make you kick as much. Uh huh. Because it absorbs some of that. That should be my personal carry. Yeah, you should definitely For sure. put this in your truck or like <laughs> have this on your hip. <laughs> <laughs> Pull out my long you sword. You also can use it as a cane in case you <laughs> exactly. hurt your leg or something. What are you guessing? Literally. All the way? Man, I don't know. Nah. It, it didn't. I didn't see that cinder block move, and that was a solid shot right in the middle. Right. So I don't know. Oh, dude, oh, look we're at mushing that. it. Dude, look at that. So it's like pulling it all through. Oh, there's like paper in that. And oh, yeah, it's all just, it's mushed. Crazy. Mushed. Oh, yeah. oh wow. Oh, yeah. Wait, is that? Is that it? That's some bullet. Oh, that's buckshot. Buckshot. I think. I mean, this wasn't here during the buckshot, all this stuff coming through. Right. Oh, wow. Just mushing it just pulled it all together. Oh, look at that. What is it? I saw a copper. Mm hmm. Yeah, just pieces of jacket. That probably is from that bullet. We lost the biggest bullet we've fired so far. It's How gone. is that possible? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, I think it just broke all the copper off and the lead just sort of started dissipating as it went through. Yeah. Long story short, 500 Magnum made it. I mean, we got like eight to spare. Yeah. So it's getting there. The 500 mag didn't go all the way through. That's pretty I, crazy. I was kind of thinking it would. For sure. All right, we got bigger guns though. We can we can try those. Next up is my baby foul. Little baby gun, chambered in 308. You like 308s? 308's my ultimate zombie gun. My AR-10, that's my baby. For the big zombies? Oh yeah. Just in case the big ones come out. So this one's considered a pistol. So it has a pistol length barrel, but it's still gonna be shooting that 308. Super fast, going all the way through. What do you think? I'm gonna say it's gonna be short by one. Dang, I think it's going all the way through. I would love if that happened though. Let's see. Giddy up, all right. It's going all the way through. Dude, I didn't see the cinder block move. No. <laughs> that is a dead center hit. Again. Nothing. Nope. Dude, that stopped? What the heck? We started tracing it, got to about right here. I was trying to figure out where it went. It was going down, so it started flipping down. This thing was probably tumbling through here. Started angling down, hit the bottom of that one, hit the very bottom of that, and then we saw a dent in the table. So we were like, well, it's gotta be somewhere around here. And then we found it. A basically unscathed 308, still nice and warm. Oh yeah. But somehow stopped in like, well, that's probably 30 Rice Krispie treats, which is pretty wild. You guessed exactly right. There's yeah. 12 left. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so I am actually really, really surprised that a 500 didn't go through and a 308 didn't go through. I'm gonna fortify my house with rice. With just rice krispies. krispies. Just like pack the walls with <laughs> yeah, exactly. rice krispies, and then if you get hungry, good to go. Right. We have a bigger, a bigger gun. It looks small in his hands, but it's larger. We always have bigger guns. So Burst has actually shot this gun before, but before it was gold. Uh, this is my Barrett M107, and it's gold. It's the boss gun. Like you get this gun, and you got everything. So I think a 50 BMG is going to go through everything and kill that cinder block. You think, you think it's going to put the cinder block down? Yeah, for sure. What do you think? I've got marshmallow face, man. <laughs> Dude, I hope you're right, because that'd be hilarious. <laughs> How crazy would it be if it didn't go through? It's, I'm not saying it's impossible. It could stop. All right, send it. I'm praying for a marshmallow gods. Let's do it. Oh, you don't need ears for this one either. It's, it's hearing safe. <laughs> Let's see what we got. A flash that was a uh, incendiary round. I just want to see where that flash started going off. That's a big old hole, and it looks like it's coming up. So, hopefully, it didn't go down into the table. I mean, it's just still going through. No flashing yet. You can tell where it flashes because it'll be all black. Oh, okay. So, we're, I saw a big flash though, but it's still coming through right here at the bottom. Oh, yeah, still coming through. Oh, dude, yeah, dude, that hole's getting big. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Still going low. All right, now you're busting out the bottom of them. Oh, look at that whole bottom piece is gone. <laughs> it's not flashing yet, though. Looks like mice got into this. All right, still going through only these, though. Hasn't hit table yet. Oh, it looks oh. like it's, it went through the table right there. Okay, we're gonna shoot it again. We're gonna bring it up this time, but that's for sure gonna go through. Oh, did we hit the dirt right here? Yeah, that's for sure where a 50 cal just busted through the dirt. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna fire another one. Oh, yeah, he's getting serious now. All right, this time we're shooting 
an armor-piercing round. It's an armor-piercing incendiary, so it should explode just like before, but also should make it through to that center block. Oh, never seen anyone do that before. Reach over? Ra yeah, reach over like that. Like, it takes a lot of strength to do that. All right, you ready? Can you move your triceps? They're too big. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Did you get covered in stuff too? Oh, uh, I got I got some blowback. I got hit with everything. <laughs> <laughs> Ripped all this stuff apart over here too. All right, I think you went through it. I love the fifty. Pretty I sure it. it man, you penetrated so hard just then. <laughs> There's our cinder block, dude. That incendiary blew up on the cinder block. Those fifties. See how low that is? Whenever they start going through stuff, they start tumbling and they end up yawing out. They never go straight. So. You came in pretty centered and it still ducked down and was going down low. I don't think that exploded at all until it hit center block on that one. Yeah, it didn't Crazy. look like it. Bulletproof vest, made out of this, good for up to 308 as long as you have like three feet on you. Serious question though, we still get to eat all this, right? Yeah, we're not gonna let this go to oh, waste. Okay, Come on, man. <laughs> we're not animals. We have so much left. Um, only 32 more to go, man. Come on. I can't eat enough. Good. Keep it up. Thanks so much for watching this episode of Demolition Ranch. Go check out Robert O'Burso. I'll link him in the description below. I love you! And I'll see you next time. Contact line! It's quite simple. There's only one rule in the demolition. You don't tell Mayor. <clears throat> Give it a good one, come on. Ah. <sighs> yeah, I've been working out.